Hello everyone. Easy peasy vocab is a better way to learn vocabulary and retain for longer. You don't need to rot memorize the words, but instead leverage the visualizations. I'm back with few more words. Now let's look at the first example. Ransack. Ransack is to search thoroughly, to rob or loot. Part of speech is verb. Connection word is backpack. Tina ransacked her backpack. In this picture, you can see that Tina is searching for something in her backpack. She took out her phone, she took out her wallet, but still she is searching for something else. Usage in sentences. Jim was late for college and ransacked his room in order to find his car keys. Jim couldn't find his car keys, so he was searching thoroughly. Robbers ransacked the apartment looking for money. If you don't have an emergency plan for power outages, you will have to ransack your home for candles and matches. That means you have to search thoroughly for candles and matches when you have a power outage. While Tim and Molly were on vacation, their house was ransacked and the car was taken away. The robbers ransacked, the, they searched thoroughly and then they robbed many things from their house and they took away their car as well. The next word is influx. Influx is incoming or a mass arrival. Part of speech is noun. The connection word is woodchucks. So what are woodchucks? Woodchucks are nothing but the groundhogs. An influx of woodchucks. Do you know the groundhogs hibernate? So what is hibernation? During hibernation, groundhogs live in the underground burrows from October until March, throughout the winter, they remain inactive. In this picture, you can see a lot of groundhogs coming out from their burrows. So you, you can see an influx of woodchucks. Now let's see the usage in sentences. New York has an influx of tourists every year. Cyprus prepares for potential migrant influx due to Israel Hamas war. People are moving out for safety. The hotel has received a large influx of guests for Kate's marriage. The country sealed its border, borders to prevent the influx of illegal immigrants. So the country is stopping the mass arrival of illegal immigrants. The next word is espouse. Espouse is to adopt or to support. Part of speech is verb. Connection word is spouse. Do you know who a spouse is? A spouse can be a wife or a husband. And this is Jim's spouse, Jim's wife. Spouse espoused a baby. That means Jim's wife adopted a baby. Let's see the usage in sentences. I espouse the idea that we should not eat dessert before dinner. So I support that idea that we should not eat dessert before dinner. The young hero espoused a village to improve the living conditions of rural people by providing clean drinking water. So that young hero he adopted a village. Luna was elected as student council representative because she was always ready to espouse. She was always ready to support. Tim's spouse espoused a large family. So Tim's wife supported a large family. The next word is oust. Oust is to eject, to kick out or displace. Part of speech is verb. Connection word is owl. In this picture, you can see that this is the owl's home, but the honeybees have kicked out the owl. The honeybees ousted the owl from its home. Now let's see the usage in sentences. The landlord ousted the tenant from the house when he didn't pay his rent. The CEO of X company was ousted, means he was forced to leave. Your teacher may oust you if you don't behave well in class. Due to recession, several employees were ousted from big companies. The last word in this video is myriad. Myriad is an extremely large number or abundant. Part of speech is noun. Connection word is God. Myriad of gods. So, in this picture, you can see a lot of gods pumpkins, bottle guards, bitter guards, melons, etc. So I can say that I grew a myriad of gods in my backyard. 
Now let's see the usage in sentences. We were chased by a myriad of tiny flies, by a large number of tiny flies. After graduating from Stanford with a master's degree in business, Leo had a myriad of career opportunities. Parents face a myriad of problems bringing up children. In the holiday season, many stores in the US have a myriad of deals. They do have lots and lots of deals. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos.